understanding your energy fields and how a crank up the the crank up energy work actually affects you relative to your core energy orientation which is the same thing as saying the stronger the different basic en energy fields within you um, there's um, uh, there's the heart there's the solar plexus and then there's the pineal mostly the head uh, they all kind of work in and out together so to speak but one of them is going to be stronger than the other one uh, than the other two uh, so depending on what kind of energy you are it's going to because uh, everyone's different frequencies inside it's going to affect how the crank up affects you it, it affects how you use your abilities um, it affects how you have your life it, it affects how you are when you're not in a body when you're your true self uh, free free form spirit okay now let's start at the at the bottom which would be the solar plexus that's your gut feeling okay in your body the energy that's the strongest main part of the energy going through your body is inside and way outside of your spine okay it's like this going up and down your your gut intuition your solar plexus energy field or solar plexus chakra is literally a minimum of two-thirds buried within the actual core energy that's this you the spirit that's you that's the bigger of the two snakes the two snakes of the kundalini uh, if you just use an old terminology uh, and then a smaller snake that's spirit just like you it's sentient energy and that's what was broken off on the planet a long time ago to go in these bodies that's in there with you okay um, that's where the, the biggest flow of energy is when you have energy work because you're located in the middle of the core okay you don't feel things as much as someone who's pineal or even heart based okay um, sometimes it's hard for you to feel anything you see know and understand things that's the way the solar plexus works it sees things it understands things it knows things um, when I crank up someone that solar plexus and it's buried almost completely inside his core they might not feel stuff at first maybe a little pressure in the head but something some usually often very little <clears throat> they notice soon that they feel stronger about their decisions they understand more say more no more it's just boom boom okay um, they do they they're they they feel stronger about what they know they know more and they know it quicker okay um, all of us use our solar plexus all the time every day you know so well I saw that I heard this guy talking it was kind of interesting but I just get this I got this gut feeling is something's wrong with that um, I was thinking about taking this class but I just had this gut feeling I that's not gonna help me I need to take this other class folks that's your solar plexus okay uh, mother can have a gut feeling about her daughter two-thirds of the way around the uh, uh, I mean a third of the way around the planet often she's right it's called mother's intuition one of the most powerful things there is it's, it's a metaphysical ability everyone has metaphysical abilities they're no gift they're yours you own them so as you awaken part of that is actually owning up to who you really are it's all in there waiting so with the solar plexus when this energy work is done on you it's strong okay but it's made to never make your nose bleed eyes bleed ears bleed you know your head crack open this is to help you to enhance you and it needs to start it's strong but it needs to start soft when I start filling up your core when I go in there I go softer and then I eventually put in a little more heat okay as, as I do this I see it going into you and everything else my hands get hot some of you my hands get real hot and then literally um, I see your core just filling up and sometimes people have solar plexus uh, um, energy they, they can't hardly feel feel diddly um, so I, in the very beginning I had pre I some people say Jay I can't feel anything so I cranked them up too hard and then they, they got a head a real headache and I had to pull it out um, 
I had to override my own safety limits. No one can do that. Okay, no one's strong enough to do that. They have to go through the field, which is part of me anyway. It, that, that'll never happen. This is something, a mistake I made. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I knew better. They, I really wanted to feel it, and they were complaining about it. They didn't understand it. It's when I first started doing it. So I, I could take the headaches away right away. Um, uh, it's energy process. And it's like, wow, thanks. And I said, no problem. Sorry about that. But um, I just wanted them to feel it. But because when, when their energy field is so buried inside the core energy, it's like you and me being out in a thunderstorm. It's pouring down rain. I'm just, it's like being in a waterfall. It's just pouring down rain hard. And then a kid comes up with a water pistol squirting us. You, you're not going to feel deadly. Okay, that's why solar plexus people don't feel as much. Um, solar plexus energy is the strongest energy field there is. Because it is in the core. It's part of it. But it's the hardest one to uh, feel things. Uh, okay, that's that. Um, the uh, heart energy when there, there's there's solar plexus heart and like I said pineal and everything in a heart energy people get a breath take a breath just like that just a deep breath when they start uh, when their heart energy starts cranking up okay um, someone might do that a little bit of that when they relax but when when I go to crank you up in a heart energy you see that right away. This whole, it's not just the heart, it's the whole, you know, upper chest cavity area it just lights up and it starts filling up. Uh, then in the fingertips, they feel a lot of tingling, uh, warmth there, their palms. Everyone's a little different. If you don't feel this and don't feel that, does not mean you're not in heart or pineal or whatever, okay? Remember, you all are, all of you have all three of them going, it's different combinations, okay? So, uh, you feel that. Um, sometimes you feel this warmth all through your body. Uh, go in your spine and crank you up, and usually you feel a little, you know, with solar plexus, lots of times you feel relaxed, but uh, depending on how much of the other fields and what percentages uh, um, uh, of your body's energy is solar plexus or pineal or heart, it, that'll depend, that, that'll regulate uh, exactly... Uh, um, what you feel and where and how, okay? But you will you will feel it in the body, okay? And then lots of times pressure in the head too. It's not hard. It's not hard. More pressure comes in later as it starts to physically grow. The application is very soft and it needs to be, but you'll feel it, okay? So that's the heart. Now, uh, pineal based. Um, when I go into someone in a pineal based, they start feeling the energy almost right away. Um, they let you tend to feel more in your head, you know. So as as people get cranked up, sometimes they want to close their eyes, sometimes not. Whatever you want to do, if you do, if you close your eyes, fine. If you keep them open, look at a blank wall or something, uh, and always try to have your spine somewhat straight, sitting up uh, or laying down. Standing up is not good because you're standing up. Your conscious mind is engaged to keep yourself standing. And it, it's, believe it or not, always, almost always thinking about your feet. <clears throat> you have to release the conscious mind to feel any of this. I've had people that wouldn't shut up while I was doing this. They paid for it. I cranked them up anyway, and they felt it. They did crank up, but they wouldn't shut up. Nowadays, when somebody gets like that, I just say, hey, you're going to be quiet, or it, this is over. You're done. Congratulations. I'll just turn it off, put the money in you, boom. Put the energy into you, boom, you got your money's worth. Um... Uh, it's exciting, it's new, I understand that, but, you know, when you go in to get a, talk to a doctor and get some surgery, you're going to be running around? No, they'll knock you out. I'm not going to knock you out. Um, it, it's not like that, it's not the same thing. Uh, and then with a pineal, you do, like I said, you do feel more in your head. Okay, and you will feel more pressure. You feel the different points inside your brain where you're being hit. Solar plexus goes straight up into the hypothalamus. Okay, the core energy goes right into the hypothalamus. Solar plexus is right there. You feel pressure. You feel stuff going on. You can a lot of people can feel the uh, tingling as the um, energy opens up. If you're strong energy, 
already strong energy and your solar plexus, your energy has grown big enough to where literally it's going to be, you know, sometimes all 100% of your solar plexus is inside the core energy. And it's just hard to feel things. Uh, if you've had back surgery, that could be a problem too. And then um, your personal health, if you have enough nourishment and if you're doing drugs, um, I put the energy in you, it goes in you, period. Um, if you've been doing a lot of drugs, it's some, that's I'll see it and know. I'll know ahead of time. And I don't mean smoking. Folks, if it's an issue, you're not going to come my way. Trust me. You're kept from coming to me. Um, I just opened up a door that could take hours. But anyway, uh, uh, that's what's going on. That's what's going on with this stuff. Um, that's how you feel things. Pineal people will see and feel more quicker, like right away, like a, during, immediately. Uh, so hard people will too. <clears throat> Solar plexus, it's harder, but it's still happening. Uh, so that's the different energy fields and how they relate with what's going on. And remember, we're all, all three of us have all three of them going. It's just some stronger than the other. And there's three different fields, so... It can make things interesting, and that's why it's different with everyone. Love you, folks.